Chinesses. Today I am Chucky. And you know me. As I hunt you in your nightmares. If you've seen my movies, I'm still hunting you. If you want to see how I did this look, you'll have to keep on watching. As it's getting started. Right now. Hello my cute darlings and friends. Today, as you might see on my hair, I am going to try to do the killer doll Chucky. Now I have a reference picture on the total screen of my laptop next to me because, as you all know, I never practice a look. The only thing I did in advance was try to put this orange paint in my hair, which wasn't easy, I can tell you that. And I'm gonna clean my face a little bit because it's full of paint too. But I'm gonna paint my face, so that'll have to be gone. Now, for what I see, he's fairly not nice, isn't he? <laughs> I have in my contacts and they give the same color as I see in his eyes. This combined with my own. Now, I know many makeup artists have done this look and they all do it the same. But there's only one way you can do Chucky and that's how Chucky is. You can only try to be as good as you can at that doll. Because he is who he is. It's Chucky, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a foundation, a BB cream. Anyone will do. I'm just taking the first I come across. It's from Fashion Professional. And I'm going to make my face a bit more tanned so that I can make the outcome a bit more doll like. So I'm using a BB cream instead of primer and all kinds of stuff, so... I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of my hair, but it is as ugly as his is, so... <laughs> now, I see that on his left side, his eye is bare, so I'm gonna absolutely try to get this mascara off. Oh, I see a leftover of paint laying here. This paint is going to be perfect for his lips and uh, the little bit he has on his left eye. The way I see him I'm painting him reverse because I want my face to be the same as his, so my painting will be the other way around. Now I'm taking a brow pencil and I'm gonna draw only on the left side a few brow hairs because he is messed up on that side too, but he does have a bit of a brow and it is red haired like the rest of him. And I forget to set my face with powder so I'm not gonna be able to paint on it. So let's just do that now. How the hell am I holding my brush? <laughs> I like that brow for Chucky, not for daily life. For this Chucky, I am going to do the shading and everything before I do the painting because I want the scars to be actually done as last. So, what I'm first gonna do is take a fluffy brush not a real big one, a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take this color, 
to do my contours with because he has got the weirdest contours. He's got this brown doll skin. He's got there, there. This left eye is completely dark. There. And in the crease, but only in the crease. And he has a shadow on his cheek. Now, especially do not copy another makeup artist. I'm just using a picture of Chucky. Because I really want it to be my version. Let's get a dent there. Very dark dent. Get a V-shaped hairline. Shadow very close to his hairline. And for once my big forehead is of use. It has been of use a lot lately. I already look like him. I almost need no makeup to look like a killer doll. Producers didn't know me. They couldn't have taken me as an example. yourself too. With me it does. Oh god, I look like Chucky. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna use that to use the same powder but to really define some lines. Line. 
I'm Lucky's cute little darling. It looks as if I'm overdoing this, but it, 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 he is like that. He's a dirty, nasty doll. And he's got the fucking same fold as I do. Now he does have rosy cheeks, and I'm gonna do that with my Biocura. Because his cheeks aren't that. Yeah, they're pink and red, so I'm gonna mix the two a little bit. I'm gonna start with this on the outside. And he also has a bit of red here. And then he has a very light, like this. Really on the apples of his cheek and a little bit. All over, it gives more that doll like color, you know. Now, I should start mapping out his scars. And here, he has one in the shape of a bug, actually. I'm gonna take a black eyeliner, and he has, let's see, so that's the right side. So, he has one here. has a little curve like that. That scar goes underneath his entire eye. Very round on this side. And on very upwards. Like that. Comes from an angle there, which forms a tip with this scar, and this goes on the back. And that goes to there. So a bit more round like that. And then there's one there. One comes out of that in this direction. Goes a bit up. And then the biggest one starts from that tip and goes with a little wiggle there straight up to his forehead has a stitch there and we'll get a stitch right where my eye piercing hole is and then there's one that starts here coming from there and then see the other direction like that and that goes to the forehead and it comes almost from just across the middle of the forehead that way. There's a few lines like that in it, like a branch. And there's one big gap going over here. It 
it's as if I'm painting the stench of a rose. <laughs> then he has that straight one there, he's got that small one here, he's got one going out of his eye upwards, and then he's got a big one coming downwards, and the biggest one is going over his lip, up to the middle of his lip, and in the middle of his chin, and it comes from there. And then he has one from his good eye, so to speak, over his nose. He's got a, good, a big one coming from in there to the corner of this eye. And then there's that animal-like one that's up here, and that's a gap. With two things like this, like the paws of an animal, and there's a stitch like that, so it almost looks like a spider. And it ends in a tip as well. So, that's that. And this line under his eye is so dark. really from the corner of his eyes over this wrinkle. That's good. Now, I'm gonna take red face paint. Yes. Just an, a crafting brush, but a pointy one, and I'm gonna take red paint. And I'm gonna start first of all by making these scars red but I've put black underneath because they have blackness in them and they'll have to be shaded with black anyway so and this brush is blending that black nicely with the red paint that's great I really want them to be this filthy. Before I started doing the make- Oh my god, I look a lot like it. Jeez, I'm scaring myself here. I'm taking this dirty pink that I said that I had here and that's gonna be for his lips and they are really dull black really a corner but very round in front And again, on top they look like mine. Urgh. Mm. You creepy fella that you are. Nasty boy. Now I'm going to take a very very thin pencil, an angled brush actually, 
black eyeshadow. First, I'm going to do with red the stitches. Now I'm taking that angle brush and black eyeshadow and I'm gonna start shading with this animal holistic like thing here. Slightly, gently gonna shade. The lower edge is darker than the upper, so I gotta shade more on this side. Deepen it out more. And the stitches have black too. That's okay like it is. Although there is a little fine line, black line coming out of that. That's that. Now, next up, the one that's not stitched. The darker you make the inside of the scar, the more realistic it looks. Because the cut in the middle is deeper. And where it's open, the wound, it's a lot darker. But realistically seen, it cannot be too deep or you would see his entire eyeball and that's not the case. So it's actually a flesh wound. Not too deep, a skin wound I mean. So now I'm going back to the silver to accentuate the staples. And I am drawing them on very thick, as you see, but if I don't, you're not gonna see the effect. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen the movie, movies of Chucky, because I did start looking at them a few years ago. And I got scared, so I put it off. I didn't watch the entire movie because it was so scary and so terrible that I turned it off. And I'm gonna take black green paint. And with that black cream paint and a very thin flat brush again, I am gonna redefine every staple. Every stitch, I mean. Ugh, I look scary. When I look at the mirror in front of me, it's not that bad, but when I dare to look to the left in that magnifying mirror, I can see only this creepy face from that side. It's, oof, need I do that? <laughs> and much worse, am I that? It does have a black waterline. And this line is really defined. Mm, this lip is dirty. And this. That's really great, oh god. That is frightening, scary. Ugh. This 
edge on the hair makes the hairs appear to be planted in and coming out of its head. I hope. <laughs> that doll is madness. I'm really <laughs> telling you it's madness. Okay, I'm gonna leave the face like that because I like it. <laughs> I must admit, I like it. Am I a nice Chucky? I am a nice doll, you know. Now I am going to try to make his blouse. I've got everything I need. So why am I in need? La la la. Now I think you might just wanna watch a tiny bit lower, like that. Okay. Piercing gowns, it's the last time you're gonna be have to be painted. And here we are again. I don't want my piercings to get ruined by the paint, so I put a sticker on that. Now, starting off with red, and I'm going to open my new red for this. Last time that I'm doing paint on my body, I gotta use a new paint, isn't it terrible? Oh, these new paints are so much creamy. Then the older version. But when I was still working, and that's now about, it's gonna be 11 years, I think. And I did kids makeup, you know, with birthday parties, events. And after that, my daughter did that too. So these paints are supposedly five to ten years old, the ones that I still had. I have no makeup experience on myself or with lessons or anything. I just did it. Okay. Now, next. I'm gonna map out his pants first. So, as I'm only visible here, I'm gonna put it here. They have to come from next to the red trying to flatten myself out a little bit. Now, I need more white in this paint because there is a line that is very, very light blue. I think if I would go to a Halloween party like this, people just would not recognize me and be freaked out. Totally, completely. I know I would be freaked out totally, completely. So now let's go to a old broken blue paint, but the paint isn't broken. And as I said in a previous video, this Halloween has cost me the shirt of my back, literally. Feel free to use a bigger brush to do this. This green isn't that bright, so I'm gonna mix and mingle with a dark green too, so that it's... Oh my god, it's getting more and more creepy by, by every line that I draw. I am... I'm gonna have nightmares. The top part of his blouse goes a lot wider than what I've painted on, but... I really want to show the blouse too, so I'm changing it a bit to make it more realistic as he... Yeah, he's not real, but very, very realistic, you know that. And these stripes are nicely wide, so it goes fast. I think I only have to do one more and I'll be done. I'm gonna take another pointy pencil. Still got a clean one. <laughs> And I'm gonna take brown paint. I 
take a dark brown paint and I will stipple them on with paint. I, I don't have any other choice because he's got so many nice freckles. Don't know why, but I've put some on his nose too. Okay, another brush to clean. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna do one more line because you're seeing my arms. The rest you don't see, but you're seeing my arms. And so I'm gonna continue a few lines on the arms. So from that blue, I went to red. Now with red, I'm gonna have to make two buttons. Now. I'm gonna take another angled brush and white paint. It has to be a thin white line on the blouse. In all the lines. And his clothes are knitted, so it doesn't have to be perfect because knitting gives all kinds of different texture and stitches. I've outlined every line of his blouse. Now I gotta wait until these buttons dry for the second time and then I will have to draw on his pocket, on his chest, but I don't think you're gonna see that. It's not gonna be much use, I think, but I'm gonna shade it on anyway. I'm moving like a doll already. <laughs> How stupid is that? Now I am looking for my pencil that I didn't use for the paint and I'm gonna take brown eyeshadow and with a brown eyeshadow I'm gonna shade around his blouse so that you see that it is lifted from the skin otherwise you won't have an, uh, yeah, an edge You see what difference that makes? So, that's that. Now, I'm gonna do that next to his pants too. As they will be lifted off from his blouse. It's always amazing how a shade or a highlight can change everything so incredibly. Now I should draw on his pocket. I'm now gonna take a brush like this, a thin one. I'm gonna take white paint and I'm gonna try to tab on the stitches on his pants and I am not using the brushes that I use for the shading or that I normally use for my brows because they are a little bit thicker than this one this is the number 317 the 317 from Zoeva and that is too soft to do brows with, but it's perfect for this. And jeans is always double stitched, you know that. So we give this jeans a double stitch too. I hope you'll see it in the video because I'm doing all this work for nothing otherwise. But it's not work, it's fun. I so much love doing this all, oh, you know that. I 
tell this in every video. This is so much my life. I'm. Uh, Now the one who made this band had a very bad sewing machine. Cause these stitches are as crooked as can be. <laughs> That's that. And now I'm gonna take the back of a brush, put it in the still a bit wet paint and I'm gonna dab on the button holes. They are a bit big, but I think I'm all chuckied up now. Yay! I'm gonna get my knife and I'll be back and then I will do my intro and my outro. <laughs> I wanna thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, you better do so. Give me some thumbs up. And for me, there's only one thing that I can say, and that is my love for makeup is spread all over to you. And I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye bye.